Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, it's that time of the month. It's that time of the month. Your March previews. It's a busy schedule. Busy, 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 busy schedule. We're going to do things a little differently this month. Because not only do we have my predictions. No, 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 no. We have BW's predictions. Oh, no, 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 no. There's more. But wait, there's more. We have Jack, Chris, Doug, and Ryan from the Facebook side. Some of these names you know on the YouTube channel, Doug, as you know, as Lubo. Now, that's pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Now, let's get into it. The Oilers have a very busy schedule. Busy, busy. 15 games, 6 at home, 9 away. 5 games are against playoff teams, 3 back-to-backs. Let's get into it. Bye. Now we start off in Seattle tomorrow night, or tomorrow during the day, it is a matinee game in Seattle. I have them to win, BW has them to lose, Chris has them to win, Jack has them to win, Ryan has them to win, and Doug has them to lose. Now we move really, really quickly to the third versus Pittsburgh at home, one stop gap before they go for four on the road. As you can see, it's a very interesting schedule. We play one on the road, one at home, four on the road, four at home, three on the road, one at home, one away, and then it just continues in April. Now, we move on to the Pittsburgh game. The Penguins are wounded ducks. No pun intended, they are wounded birds. They are not going to be that good for my eyes. Oilers going to win. BW has Pittsburgh Oilers winning. We all have Oilers winning except for Ryan. He has the Oilers losing. And Doug, for the first time in OAD history, we have an OTL. We have a lot. Loss in overtime. Thank you, Doug, for that. Moving on to December, Mar sorry, March 5th <laughs> at Boston. In Boston, I have them losing this game. BW has them winning. Chris has them losing. Jack has them winning. Doug has them losing. And Doug has them winning. Ryan has them losing. It's a lot to remember. My bad, guys. Two nights later, we're in Columbus, where, again, the Oilers get back on the pony ride with the wins. I have them beating Columbus. Columbus is a team that we owe a lot of payback for from pre past seasons. It's going to be not a good scene in Columbus. I have them winning. BW has them losing. Chris has them losing. Jack has them winning. Ryan has them winning. And Doug has them winning. On the ninth, two nights later, we continue the Eastern team theme that we are on. Seems like we play mostly the East this month, which is good and bad. We are in Buffalo. I have them winning. BW has them losing. Chris has them winning. Jack has them winning. Ryan has them winning. And Doug has them losing. Next night, they're in Pittsburgh. I have them winning both games in the back-to-back. -back. BW has them losing both games in the back-to-back. -back. Chris, same thing, winning both games in the back-to-back. -back. Jack has them winning both games in the back-to-back. -back. Ryan has them winning both games in the back-to-back. -back. Doug has them winning the second game of the back-to-back. -back. Three nights later, we're back at home in the confines of Rogers Place, where we take on the Washington Capitals. And if you guys don't know, it is also trade deadline March 8th. So the 9th, 10th are going to be very interesting. Probably the 10th is going to be the game where we see players we've traded for and probably some players on this roster that aren't going to be here. Not spoiler, not saying nothing. Enjoy the show. It's going to be a good one. Anyways, getting back to this on the 13th versus Washington. I got the win. We all got the win except for Doug. Doug feels Washington are going to show up and beat the Oilers. Can't say I blame him for that, but it's going to be weird if Washington wins. On the 15th, this is a rare, rare thing. We all have the L in Colorado. I believe we all have the L in Colorado. Which is it. Which is okay. Colorado is one of those teams. If the Oilers end up winning, that's gravy, that's boat, that's that's a jotsy, that's a jackpot. 
Four nights later, big break there, four days. We're against Montreal. We all have the Oilers beating Montreal. Two nights later, we're in Edmonton still playing Buffalo. We get Buffalo twice this month. That's cool. Pittsburgh twice as well. We all have them beating Buffalo. On the 23rd, we are in Toronto for game one of a back-to-back. -back. We all have them losing to Toronto except for BW and Jack. Bold predictions there, boys. I like it. On the 24th, the very next night, we all have them beating Ottawa except for BW. He has us losing to the Lonely Senators. It's his other team. I don't blame him. I feel you, buddy. We're all in Winnipeg two nights later, doing the back to the west, go from east to west. We all have them losing to the Winnipeg Jets, except for Ryan, and Doug has them losing in overtime. I'm all right with that. On the 28th, the final game of the LA Kings schedule that we have, I have them losing to the Kings, BW has them winning, Chris has them losing. Jack, Ryan, and Doug have them winning against the Kings in Edmonton. Hey, man, I really wish they will, and I hope they do, but i gotta, I got to pick some games the Oilers are going to lose. I'm not going to say they're going 15-0. If I say they're going 15-0, that is redonkulous, and you guys would shoot me. Anyways, we've got the final game of the month on the 30th. Two nights later, we are in Anaheim, California. Where are we taking on the Anaheim Ducks? It's a clean sweep across the board. Oilers are winning. Oilers are winning. Winning. Wow. That's a lot to digest. That is a lot to digest. Now, again, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Also, go and check out the last video, the February review, where I didn't do so hot. Oilers didn't do so hot. They had a 500 record for the month. They finished the month off strong. But 3-3 three and three on the road, 3-3 three and three at home, not very good. Yes, 3-3, three and three, even though there technically was 3-2-1. and one, But I digress. Anyways, guys, my name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. I hope you like this content. Please leave a like button. Hit the subscribe button if you really, really want to. It helps us out and we greatly appreciate you. Also, let us know your thoughts below. What do you think the owner's record is going to be in the month of March? Is it going to be similar to ours? Is it going to be better than ours? Worse than ours? Let us know. We'd like to hear your thoughts. You never know. You could be spotlighted in the next monthly review. For now, my name is Matt. See you in the next one. Peace.